So we're here at New Stocks launch of the 2015 championship. We're here with Marty Clark from down and Marty. I suppose this is an area where you have some fond memories and some not so fond memories. Yeah, that's it. It's always nice to come down here. It's been a number of years since I've, I've been at Croke Park. So even in this capacity, it's nice to be here just to appreciate what the you know the, the top prize is in Gaelic football, the common play here. And uh, it's lovely to be down. Some of the, the, you know, the wise heads of Gaelic football here to have a chat with them about the, the championship. So it's exciting, yeah. Since you've come back from Australia with your second term in the AFL, how have you found just in general terms just settling back into Ireland? Obviously, you can see you have a you have a fairly good colour from being over there. It just it's a different lifestyle over here. Yeah, it is. It's um it's taken me quite a while. Also, um you know I I, I got married and we had a little one in that time as well. So there was a few more added sort of you know life events that happened as well as moving over. But it's been all positive. It's been great and. Um, you know, I'm looking forward now to the, the long evenings and championship football. Ulster itself seems to, with the opening two weeks, seems to have been very positive football. There's been two very good games. I know now Down are coming up against Derry in a few weeks' time, but mm -hmm. Down seem to be in, with no disrespect to the other teams, they certainly seem to be in the tougher half of the draw. Yeah, there does seem to be, you know, that divide, but it's too hard to, to call, you know, on paper. You, you just never know what's going to happen. But the two games so far have been, you know, open, exciting, full of commitment, obviously. And it doesn't seem to be as much nervous tension or teams being afraid to lose the game. There's, you know, there's guys going out and they're, they're running with the ball. And there's there's been a lot of high high quality skill. And it's great to see, you know, because it's always been there. But sometimes it's just always on the maybe on the day things have got the better of guys and they just want it to pull and haul and drag and, and hold on to leads but so far it's really been great to see. Do you think that with the opening two games of the Ulster Championship that for example Cavan and Tyrone will be some of the stronger teams in the country that they know even if they do get knocked out in the preliminary and the quarterfinals that they can go on a long run throughout the qualifiers and maybe even to the quarterfinals? It's never in your head when you're going into the game but certainly you know you have to think about it once you're once you're out you know you, you deal with a defeat one or two days after it and then you, you you look forward because you can't have your head down because you just get whacked in the next game and you know the, the, the second opportunity that's there now teams have won all Ireland's from it so you, you must take it with both hands and um, if you can take positives out of the performance which you know both Tyrone and, and Cavan certainly will be able to do they'll be able to you know maybe go long into the summer. I know as well we're going playing in, in a few weeks but we won't expect to see you on the pitch when can we expect to see you back in the red and black? If you fancy coming down to the Down Division 2 game, you can come watch me down there. But um, I've played you know, a few club games, um, which I didn't think I would have done by this stage. And I'm feeling stronger every game and I, I, my fitness is progressing well. But you know, it's a massive ask to come back in, given you know, the training that's been done and, and how well the Down boys are going. And um, you know, it's, it's definitely not going to happen. You know, at this stage, I've just too, I'm too far back. You know, but hopefully, you know, next season I can come and, and I'll be there in November. You know, during the trials and and really get the confidence out of being there for the full season because to come in now, it's it's just pretty unrealistic. And um, you know, I hope the boys go well. From all reports, you know, they're they're, they're prepared well. It's a very admirable thing to do that. You just feel yourself even this early in the summer that you're just not prepared. So not prepared, but you're just not. You won't be physically ready. Yeah. To come in however far down go in the championship. It just seems to be a very admirable way of looking at things. Yeah, well, you know, I think as well, given, you know, how high the performance levels are at this stage of the championship so far, I don't think I'm there. It's still four years since I played in the red and black at county level and you know, I've had the setback with the condition and that and uh, you know, I, I really think that um, there's guys there on a down panel that are much better placed than I did to come in and do a job for the red and black. Addison's is, it isn't a condition that many people will be familiar with, but are you, are you very confident of being back next year in the red and black? Do you think that once you so you get your physical level back up that you'll be okay to go? I think so, um, even though it can be a complicated condition and, and there's not a whole lot known about it. The, the, the biggest thing for me is I'm just replacing something that my body isn't making, so thankfully you know there's a a tablet you can take every day. I take two doses, and and so far, you know, it's been working. But I again, I haven't played a championship game. I haven't played at that highest, highest level. But I'm thinking if I build up slowly, there's no reason why I shouldn't I'd be able to get back. And finally, just looking ahead to down in Derry, how do you see the game going, and can you see down going far this year in Ulster or even in the All Ireland series itself? Yeah, I, I, look, I can. Um, you know, down always have the ability to hit big scores uh, this season Jim McCorry's come in and I think he's added a resilience to the team whereas in the league a few games down we're losing by a few points and they've come back to win and that kind of didn't happen for down football for too long if you're losing by four or five at half time you were no chance so I think that 
they could pinch a few games off the back of that newfound resilience and and you know if it's if things work out they can they can get to the last eight that's for sure.